just took in this 2021 Forest River Cascade 23 DBH. It's got a double axle, double entry doors, and bunk beds in the back. Let's go check it out. So this 2021 Forest River Cascade weighs about 7,600 pounds loaded. We're gonna give it a full exterior and interior look. First up, let's check out the storage compartment up front. You can see under the bed storage is right there. It's got stab jacks, stabilizing jacks. Just put them down with a drill. It does have an electric awning, almost the full length of the coach. One thing that I love are these entry doors. Look at them, they're super, super mirrored and they're solid as all get up. Very nice, they do though, they do get some fingerprints pretty easily, which is unfortunate. Now, this coach has one solid step right here that does store inside once you are traveling, and you got the standard steps there in the back. As for the passenger side, not much going on. We got a TV mount, a couple exterior speakers, some coax and power connections tires down below let's see what size do we have on these 205 75r14s and they are dated 0421 so of course they are original tires but they're only a couple years old now then we got back of the furnace back of the fridge and exhaust for the microwave hood all that fun stuff a lease latch these are pretty cool if you do travel with animals no ladder either in the back so if you got to do some work up top you got to bring your own ladder they did install like a little kind of cargo storage thing right here. You just pull those latches out, lay it flat, and boom, you got yourself some storage. And then what's actually kind of cool is you have this extra little storage right here, which most trailers don't have. Eh, kind of nice. Six gallon water heater right there. Dump station down below. 30 amp power service. You got your outdoor shower, potable water, a little light, and some flushes. Here is your single slide out. It's actually a dinette slide on the inside. Now this is not a uh, fiberglass sided coach. As you can tell, it is that kind of corrugated metal, that stick and tin style. Much easier to fix if you get a big old dent. All right, what do we got? 7613 loaded, cargo capacity 1904. And then finally, electric hitch up front with a little light couple propane tanks. And then, single battery. All right, quick exterior walk, let's jump inside. So two, three, DBHC. All right, so you see right when you walk in, you're greeted with the dinette, bunks, bathroom, kitchen to the left, and then to the right is the bedroom. And we also have your entertainment center up here. So let's actually start up there. Nice little key holder right here. That looks a little jacked up, it is. And then you got your wardrobe, bedroom, queen bed in here. You do have a little bit of storage under the bed, kind of harder to access because it's not a walk around bed. And then here's your storage. Same on the other side. You got a couple lights in here. You can see power hookups over there. On this side, we got power and USB. I think that one actually has, they added like a little connect. Let's go look. Let's go figure it out. <clears throat> what the heck they got going on here? Okay, well it still has USB hookups, but I'm not sure. You probably slide something in here to charge, maybe a battery or something. The bathroom does have kind of, you know, wood style doors to help give you a little bit of privacy that do latch in, do place. There we go. Here's a different little view of the galley. So like I said, right in front of the bedroom, you got a TV, another TV mount, all your connections for that TV, Wi-Fi, stuff like that. And then some random storage. I love a little, change all the colors. You can actually put heat out of this thing too, which is nice. Little LED, blue LED lights all over the place. One thing that's pretty cool is that LED strip above the slide has a button right here. Ah, kind of neat. This dinette slide is a U-shaped dinette. Will turn into a sleeper. You could probably sleep two people on here. And then check out, it's got massive storage drawers on here. They're not on rail, so you gotta lift it up and then pull. But oh my God, look at that thing. <laughs> and you got that on both sides too. So very, very nice. Before I forget, let's check out the old printout. 
25,995 is what we're selling this coach for. 29 foot three inches overall. It is a single AC. Normally I print out brochures, but unfortunately there is no brochure for this one. The closest one I could find was the Cherokee 26 DBH. So if you want to look up that, you can kind of get some ideas. Moving on into the back, we have your bunk room and then a little bit of storage. So you got storage right here. Check this out. This is hysterical. You got a light. Uh, small design flaw. This ladder right here does lift up to go back into its house or you can lift it up and pull it out so a kid can get up into the bunk area. Bunk area has a light. I am no spring chicken. I ain't going to turn that light on. And some USB hookups with the little window. Down below the window, it's a little tattered, uh, but it does have a shade on it, which is nice. Also USBs and a light. <clears throat> Got the bathroom behind there. Before we check out the bathroom, let's check out the kitchen. So on the left side of the kitchen, you just saw that slide control light. You also got slide on in other lights, water pump, water heater, and main lights, which is kind of nice. And then of course, level testers up top. In your kitchen, it's not a terrible size. They do some things to give you a little bit more counter space, like giving you this cover. You can use that as counter space, but check out this black farm style sink. Very, very nice metal. I'm going to put that back into position. And then a little soap dispenser. Three burner gas stove top. Gray stone with a little oven. Very, very little oven. Now this three burner does have a metal cover. And what I was talking about earlier, you got the cutting board back here with magnetic kind of hookups to keep it in place. And then once you open this, I don't know why I just closed it. Once you open this, you can use this magnetic cutting board and it will stay in place which is kind of nice so that's a little bit of a plus give you that much more counter space you know you could also probably add a leaf right here to make it that much more I just get a little pop I'm just got to be wary of the entry door there now you got two drawers this size right there a little bit of storage under the sink and then a little hood that's where our exhaust is outside standard microwave and then some storage a little curved storage with some a little, little bit of manuals it looks like and then our three-way Dometic fridge and freezer just to the right of that is your thermostat for the AC unit which is roof mounted it does have the quick releases if it's a hot day come in here stand directly under that there is also a nice little skylight here. We're gonna close it though, because it's way too bright. And then there are some upgraded speakers on the ceiling too. It's interesting, because this one was at like a six inch, five inch speaker. And then back here they got like four inch, three inch. I don't know my measurements that well, apparently. All right, now last but not least, let's check out this bathroom, which honestly is not a bad size for being a trailer bathroom. You got toilet located right there, your other entry door, which is perfect. If you have people you're, you're traveling with, they're outside getting dirty at the lake or the beach, they won't have to dirty up the whole house. Pretty decent sized pan. I love the leg room in front of the toilet. And then you got your vanity here in the corner with a medicine cabinet. And some storage under, ooh, look at that. Some storage under there too. It's not a bad, not a bad bathroom for a 29 foot trailer. So now of course we gotta put this slide in. Now what I will do, one, you can just come with me. See how this slide works. It is electric of course. Just push a button, it'll work its way in slowly. Oh, I gotta show you those blinds too. Those blinds are awesome. So you got kind of strung style blinds throughout this whole coach, except for the dinette, the dinette, <laughs> dinette. The dinette has some shades. I've actually seen them at like Home Depot before. And I'll show you here in a second how they work. So it's not day or night shades. It's kind of both all in one. You pull it down, you can cover it up, completely black it out, open it up. And it just does that back and forth. So pretty cool. But that is your slide in all the way. So we do lose access to the uh, driver's side bed entry. And then that's honestly about it. Fully accessible back here, even the storage. Yeah, it's literally just that left side of the bed, which is kind of cool. 
Now, one other thing, let me retract the awning. You have your uh, shades right here at both doors. They are, they need to be restrung. I don't know why they keep putting strung shades in RVs, but they do. And you get this issue all the time. So we gotta fix that, no big deal though. It happens. So we're gonna show you the outside with the uh, slide in. But let's also show you how this cool little step works. That's a solid step by Moorride. They're such a great little upgrade. You can see it's got a 400 pound capacity. They, they make them for fifth wheels too. I'm surprised they didn't do dual upgrades. They kept the standard, you know, steps back here that just kind of fold into place. Kind of fold into place. Harder to do with one hand. There we go. 300 pound capacity on there. So here's a quick shot of the passenger side. Shouldn't look any different. Driver's side will look quite different with that slide and son of a gun, I forgot compartments. So there's one. Now we are selling this, like I said, for $25,995. It's at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. I don't even think I said my name yet. My name's Taylor Quayle. I'm a sales guy here. I sell RVs for a living. So if you have any questions, please reach out. I would love to help out. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment. Let me know what I could do better, what I did good. Leave a like. Send it to some friends if they are searching for an RV. My gosh, I forgot everything. Let's shut this down. All right, there we go. My gosh. But thank you so much for viewing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully you learned something. Have a great day.